And then we're going to mute everyone. Great. And if you um, if you wish to ask a question, do unmute yourselves, but try and keep any background noise to a minimum or mute yourselves again if, uh, if it gets noisy. So welcome, everyone. We're going to look at some hands that were played involving certain aspects of declarer play. And I'm going to just start by sharing my screen with you all. And we're going to look at some of these hands. Some were, were played a little while ago and some a bit more recently. But they all involve some questions involving uh, how to play the hand. Um, also, just a reminder that at the end of this call, if you'd like to play in the game at 2 o'clock, which is on BBO today, just stay on the line and we'll see if anyone else is uh, wanting to partner you. But to start off with, here's a hand that was actually played before the lockdown. And um, my first question to you is, what do you think you're going to respond when your partner opens one no trump? You have 19 points here. So your partner's got 12 to 14. Anyone like to suggest what you might bid there? Thanks, sir. I mean, the do question, I suppose, is, are you thinking of a slam here? Yes. Um, you, you've got 19 points. Not absolutely certain whether you want to be in a slam or not here. It's a little bit marginal. Let's suppose you start by responding two clubs statement and suppose your partner bids two hearts. Now, now you've got a, a really good heart fit. And now um, I think I'd be inclined to maybe look for a slam, maybe by bidding for no trump, finding out about my partner's aces, and maybe you will end up in, in, in a slam here. This is one way it might go. Um, one no trump, two clubs, two hearts, four no trump, five diamonds here shows one ace. We're just playing ordinary blackwood there. Um, and maybe decide to go for six hearts on this one. So it's um it's not absolutely clear cut that you, you want to be in a slam here, but I, th I mean, I'd be encouraged by finding a, a very good heart fit there. We know we've got a nine card fit in hearts. Um, when this hand was actually played, which was actually before lockdown, this was the hand and this is what happened on it. And you can see that only three pairs bid a slam. There's a six heart there, a six no trump and a six heart to the bottom. Um, uh, but only one person made it. The other, the others who were in the slam went down, and other people stopped in game. And you can see going down the, the bottom half of the scores here, they made twelve tricks. So, but most people did not make twelve tricks, and didn't, either went down in six no trump or just made um, ten or eleven tricks here. So. I thought this was a hand uh, worth looking at because it really should be making 12 tricks by everyone here. Let's suppose that North is on lead and leads the 10 of clubs. So this is being played by West here. And I'd like you to stop by counting how many top tricks you've got. You can also count your losers, um, but whether you're in six hearts or six no trump, Stop for a minute and tell me how many top tricks you think you've got there. Only one. How many top tricks have you got, in, counting all the suits all together? One, two, three. Either nine or ten. Okay. Well, if we count, if we look at the suits one at a time, I think you'll agree we've got two. Um, two spades, 12. and uh, almost certainly five hearts, I think. Uh, I mean, just think about it. Eleven, got, uh, twelve, I would say. We've got um, nine trump, um, so the opponents have got four. So in nearly all cases, we'll make all of those, only if there were a four-zero um, break, and even then, we might be able to uh, finesse against the jack if we discover that. So very likely five hearts, two spades. Um, we don't have any top tricks in diamonds, and we have three clubs. 
So I think that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten top tricks there. Very likely ten top tricks. Where can we make two more tricks? One in diamond. And two in diamonds. Yeah, two in diamonds. Isn't this one of the easiest hands you'll ever get to play? You've got the king, queen, jack, and all you need to do is force out the ace, and you'll make two diamond tricks, as long as you don't get stuck in the wrong hand. And yet, as we saw in the scoring, uh, the majority of people did not make 12 tricks. Whether you play this in six no trump or in six hearts, um, it, it's roughly the same. You'll, you, you just need to force out that ace of diamonds, and you should make 12 tricks. So the way we'll play it is um, we'll win the first trick, if we're playing in hearts, of course, we'll draw trumps first. So let's draw one round. That's two rounds have gone. That's actually all the trumps gone. And now all we need to do is play the diamonds. Make sure you don't cash your other winners first. So I think this is where some people went wrong. They cashed their winners uh, and then tried the diamonds. But then, of course, your opponents will get in and take tricks. So just play your start by winning in the shorthand. They'll take their race whenever they like, but whatever they do, we can uh, still get back to take the Queen of Diamonds. Uh, we'll get back to the Ace of Spades and cash the Jack of Diamonds and throw up our last uh, losers, throw away all our losers, and we'll make 12 tricks there now once we're down to Trump. So six no Trump or six hearts are both good contracts there. And even if you didn't bid six, you should definitely make uh, aim to make 12 tricks. You'll see that those people who bid four hearts and made plus two got 15 points out of a possible 22. So they got a pretty good score. Whereas if you didn't make um, the over trick, just made, uh, say, one over trick, then you only get six out of a possible 22. Anyone have any questions on that? So... Uh, I think, you know, you just, this hand really demonstrates the value of counting your tricks and then looking at where you're going to make more. Realizing that the spade finesse, for example, even if it works, will probably only give you one extra trick and you just need to go up to the diamonds to make two tricks there. Any comments on that one? Any questions? I have a question, but it's not related to the topic. <laughs> <laughs> if you did not have five hearts, yeah. would you go straight to four no trumps? Yeah, I think um, uh, I, I think if 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 I if for example I had a balance hand with nine yeah. points, then I think four no trump is a good choice yeah. there. Okay, uh, which would be invitational. Then, as it turns out, your partner I think is. Um, got 13 points so it's hard to know what to bid but mm. if you look for a club fit and find uh, sorry if you look use Damon to look for a heart fit and you find a good fit there then I think I'd be more encouraged to to bid the slam okay let's have a look at another one uh, again this was played um, a few months ago and this is a recommended bidding on this one North has got that 4441 hand so with three non-touching suits, the recommended bid is the suit below the singleton, one club. Um, South here should not support the clubs because they've got uh, a heart suit to bid. They bid one heart, your partner can support that, and you end up in four hearts on this one. And nearly everyone who played this hand did end up in uh, four hearts. Um, and in fact, 11 tricks can be made on this one. Um, but very few people did make 11 tricks. Let's have a look at how it might go. Suppose your opponents lead a diamond, and this hand needs a little bit of studying at trick one about the best way to play this. And if you have a look at the, the two hands together, you can see there's um, you're going to lose a spade, come what may, a heart you're going to lose, and you've got a club loser as well. Um, so most people made just 10 tricks on this one, um, but it is possible to make 11 tricks and get a top score. The key to this one is the diamonds, because 
you can see you've got a singleton in dummy opposite the ace king queen and that means you're going to be able to discard twice from the north hand on the ace king queen of diamonds and the question is what are you going to discard when it comes to playing the diamonds clubs clubs well you could discard spades or you could discard clubs or you could discard one of each yeah now if you discard spades let's think about discarding spades well we could discard spade two spades but that will still leave us with a spade loser mm -hmm. and we're going to lose a heart let's assume and it will also will also have a club loser i'm assuming the clubs will divide um reasonably evenly for us three two and we yeah. hope we only lose one club but discarding so discarding two spades on the diamonds will lead you probably to just make 10 tricks but what if we discard two clubs if we discard two clubs on the three diamonds then the only losers in the north hand are now in spades and although I've got three spade losers here, I'm hoping to be able to rough two of them. If I can rough two spades, I'm hoping I'll only lose one spade together with one trump. So that's my plan on this hand, to try to rough the spades in the south hand. And if I can rough twice, I can hopefully make 11 tricks. And then the club are, are, are going to be discarded on the diamonds. So let's see if we can put all that into practice. They lead a diamond, let's win that one. And because we're hoping to rough spades, I'm not going to draw trump right away. So uh, I suppose win the first trick with the ace, play a spade back. Okay, so um, uh, I, I lose that one. Um, now the opponents get in there. I don't know what they'll play. Let's suppose they play a club, which we win with the ace. And now we're going to rough another spade. And this is probably the only, the most riskiest part of it because there's a risk that we'll get over roughed if we don't get a favorable division. But if we lead a spade and they play the queen, we're going to rough. And apart from the ace and king, all our, um, we've got the um, 10, nine eight seven six so all the hearts are high except for the uh, queen and jack so let's rough there and if we can get away with that if that doesn't get over roughed now we're in good shape what we're going to do now we still have a spade we'd like to rough and the way to achieve that is to draw trumps now we play the king we play the ace and We've drawn two rounds. There's one high trump out. And of course, we're not going to draw it. What we're going to do is play our last spade. And we're going to uh, rough that one in the south hand. And at some point, east or west have got the last high trump. And they'll be able to rough with it. But we don't really care. If, they, if west is out of spades, they'll be able to rough. But that's the last trump gone. And now whatever they play, we can play the diamond. And as we always intended, when we play the diamonds, we're discarding the clubs. And now we've got the king of clubs and two trumps. So we should be able to make 11 tricks um, on that one. Um, as long as we're reasonably lucky in the spades and they don't get roughed or over roughed, we should be able to make um, 11 tricks on that one. Any comments on that? So um, let's have a look at another one. This one was um, uh, played a little while ago. And um, actually, I've got a question for you on this one. This was the um, bidding this time it was played. It went one heart, one spade, two clubs, four hearts. And that's a good bidding sequence. Um, don't be tempted to support your partner's clubs because their bidding shows five hearts and four clubs at least. So you should support them. And with enough points for the game, you should end up in four hearts. And 
let's have a look how this one went. East leather diamond. And I'd just like you to um, look at this from the point of view of north south. And my question for you, and I'm going to send this out as a poll in a moment, is how many losers are there from declarer's point of view? So looking at this from declarer's point of view, but taking into account all the strength in dummy, which is a south hand here, I'm going to launch a poll now and ask you how many losers you think you've got. So here comes the poll. And tell me how many losers you think there are. Let's say how many likely losers. Okay, we're up to sixty five percent have voted. Any others? Okay, so um, just over three quarters of you have uh, voted there, and I'm going to end the polling there and share the results with you. And the majority have, 64% have said two losers, 30% have said three, 6% have said four. So let's have a look at this and see who was, oh, sorry, if I, um, I need to stop sharing the results. Yeah, stop sharing. Okay, so um, let's have a look at it, and we'll go through the suits one at a time. We're going to look at it from the point of view of the hand with the long trump suit, which is north here, but take into account all the strength in dummy. And I think there are no spade losers because you have the ace of spades. Yeah. There are no heart losers. Yeah. There are just two diamond losers, and almost certainly no club losers. That's right. You have you have nine clubs between you, and again, barring a horrible distribution, you will not lose any of them. Okay, if they're three one or two two, um, or even if it's four zero in some situations, you might be able to um, make them all. So almost certainly no club losers and just two diamond losers. So. That's what you should make on this hand. You should make 11 tricks. The opponents have led a diamond, and this is actually how it was played. Um, and it was played well here, so I'm not blanked out the people's name. They took the ace of diamonds, they led a diamond back. They now led a club. And actually, once they've all followed to one round of clubs, your rest of your clubs are good. All you need to do now is draw trumps okay that's all the trumps gone and then all your clubs are good so just cash your clubs throw away your losers and at the end you're going to take the ace of spades and make 11 tricks that one you know was easy to make really um but if i look at the traveler for this this is the the hand where it was um played um, you can see that um, not everyone by any means made 11 tricks here. The, the top scores at 650 was made by, I think, four people who got 15 out of a possible 18 uh, points. But apart from that, others just made 420, uh, sorry, 620, and did not get a good score for that. Okay, so... Where did they go, go wrong? I, I looked at various ways that this was um, played, uh, and I'll, I'll bring up one of those. Sorry, it's a little bit slow here. This was this was one another time it was played. Here the, but they're playing clubs instead of throwing trumps first. Well, 
there, there were a variety of reasons it went wrong. Um, one pair didn't draw all the trumps, uh, and yes, did do what what uh, what you said. This was another time it was played. Um, here the bidding was slightly different. It went one heart, pass, one spade. They came in with two diamonds, which is reasonable. Two hearts, uh, three diamonds, four hearts. Uh, again, as I said, nearly everyone ended in four hearts. But let's see what went wrong this time. They they started off um, inexplicably, in my view, by leading a club. Actually, if I, if I go back, um, if I click on the GIB button, the computer is actually telling me that if you lead a diamond, the best the defense can do is um, hold declarer to one over trick. But if they lead anything else, like a club, declarer can actually make 12 tricks here. So here they started off in a club. Um, so declarer won that. They started by drawing trumps. Okay, and they did well. They drew all the opponent's trumps. And then they led a spade, and they wrongly tried to finesse in spades. Okay, that, that maybe that spade is a temptation for you to finesse, but it really is a mistake to do that, because what happened, of course, was that they got in, and they uh, now took their two diamonds. And now you're only going to make uh, ten tricks now, whereas you should have made 11 tricks. So this particular declarer was obviously mesmerized by seeing that finessing position in spades. But once you realize that you've only got two losers, you can see there's no merit in um, trying that finesse. Just give up those two tricks and make 11 tricks easily. Any comments on that? And... Uh, one last one to look at. Uh, okay, sorry, this is... I uh, need to bring up the traveler on this one. So this was board three from, uh, from, this, uh, from this session. And again, if I look at the traveler on this, I can see, according to the computer, um, East-West can make six no trump. And quite a few people are in six no trump, but not everyone made it. Some went down in six no trump. Um, and let's have a look at this one, and we'll look at it how it was played a couple of times. <coughs> Sorry, it's just uh, a little slow bringing it up. So this was one occasion it was played. Now, West, you've got a balanced hand with, I think... Uh, 20 points so you can open two no trump with this hand and east you've got also a balanced hand this time with 13 points so really you should go straight to six no trump here on this hand east west seemed to be playing that four no trump here was blackwood um but it should not be blackwood in that situation anyway because um, four no trump in this situation is used as invitational. Although with 13 points, you shouldn't invite. You should just go straight to six no trump. So they bid four no trump. Their partner interpreted it as Blackwood bid five spades to show three aces. You bid five no trump. Your partner showed two kings with six hearts, and you ended up in six no trump. So the opponents led the Queen of Spades on this one. And let's have a look at this from Declarer's point of view. And I'd like you to tell me, um, not with a poll, just tell me how many top tricks you think you have here, or how many top tricks do you definitely have? 11. 11. Okay. So important to count your tricks. We've got two spades, three hearts, and we do have four diamonds, yeah. okay? We need to be a little careful we don't, uh, we, we take those, but, but we should definitely make four there. And we have uh, two clubs. So we start off with 11 top tricks. Where can we make a 12th one from? The clubs. Diamond. 
Well, yeah. before, those of you who said diamonds, you've already counted four diamonds. So you can't possibly make any more diamonds. Club. Another club. There's, there's only one option, isn't there? The club. spades? Well, you've counted two spades, haven't you? So you're, you're hoping to make a third one. That would be a miracle, wouldn't it? Spade? <laughs> how, how are you going to make a spade? No, no. You, you can't make a spade, can you? I mean, only, only if it because goes through. I think it's a single turn at the other end. Uh, when you think it's a single they're playing uh, king queen tell me tell me what you're saying again you think south has got must a be having turn. an ace also who uh, who's got the an ace will be having an ace so that's why uh, which ace you know uh, they, they, we have got all aces there are no aces <laughs> we've got all the aces and as it happens all the kings all yeah right? So where are we going to make another trick? There's only one possibility, and it's clubs. No. Clubs. All we have to, what we hope for, is that the clubs are divided evenly. But they do. We've got eight clubs. We hope they're divided. The missing five clubs are divided three two, and we can easily make a club trick just by giving up a club. Or there's even a chance um, that if someone does have four clubs, if they're divided four one, for example, and they discard one, we might be able to make one anyway there. So um, let's see how this one was played. This is what Declara did on this occasion. They took their king uh, and they started on diamonds, which is fair enough. Okay. They then played a spade. And I don't know if you can see, this is the moment they've gone wrong here. Because what they're doing is they're cashing all their top tricks. And now they won't be able to make the contract without letting the opponents in so once they play this spade they've they they, they have um, you know really ruined their chances now because what happened now is they can take their remaining tricks all they're doing is cashing their top tricks now they play a club play a heart played a heart played the ace of clubs um but unfortunately now They'll play a club, the opponents get in, and will be able to cash a spade. And they only made 11 tricks there. Mm. Again, this is, uh, you know, quite an easy contract to make as long as you play the clubs, give up the lead while you still have stoppers in the other suits. So, again, this is how, this is how it should be bid, actually. Two no trump, straight to six no trump on this hand. Mm. And... If they lead a spade, you can win that one. Now, you could play the clubs straight away, although it's quite reasonable also to play the diamonds because I'm hoping that I will maybe put them under pressure in terms of discarding. Maybe they will discard something that will help me. So I'll take the diamonds, and as long as they don't break badly, I can take all the uh, four diamonds... When I play that diamond, I've got to discard something. Um, I can discard a club here, as long as I keep four clubs in one of the hands. So I can still make an extra club, as long as I don't discard a club on both hands. So I played the diamonds. No one discarded a club. So I'm just going to play the clubs now. And the way this declarer played it, there are two ways you could do it. You could actually play the ace-king and then give up a club. Although this declarer um, actually gave up a club early on, and then when they regain the lead, they're able to uh, take the last club. They cash their hearts, and then at the end, they took their ace, king, and their last club was good because the clubs divided 3 2. So that's. How, um, how it was played, that's you know, how the idea of how it should be played. And just don't, in a situation like this, just don't cash all your top tricks, okay? It gives you very little chance to make the contract if you've taken all your tricks, especially the spades here, um, then when the opponents will get in with clubs, you will find that, that you've set up a spade for them. Okay, so just a few hands, um, some harder than others, but, you know, I think the key is, you know, counting your tricks um, and trying to make uh, a plan, work out where your extra tricks are coming from.
All right. Any comments Thank or you, questions Tony. on that? Uh, I'm Tony, to... can, Tony yeah. can, I ask, can I ask one Go ahead. question? Go ahead. One question is, when you are counting the uh, tricks, you are taking into account the trumps also. I'm listening to you. What's your question? When you are counting your losers, yes, you count your how many uh, trumps you will use to make the uh, uh, games. I, I'm listening to you, but I don't understand your question. <laughs> okay, all right, don't worry. Uh, second question is for six no trump, do you need four aces and four uh, 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 kings? No, you don't. No. No. no, I mean, on this particular hand, you happen to have all the aces and all the kings. But um, if you have 13 points and your partner shown a balanced hand with 20, you should go uh, for six no trump like this. Okay? okay. If you're missing an ace, it's probably doesn't matter. It's probably, you know, probably that's your going to be your only loser. Okay. Any other questions? Tony, yes, was, there, yes, was there anything yes, else please. on the um, on the soup front? <laughs> I think the soup 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 gate is over. <laughs> Anyone else have any other good. questions? Yes, I'm... please, Tony. One yes? of one of your hands, you had a four four one. You had yes. a single diamond and bid the club, which is the one below. Yes. There seems to be quite a lot of difference about what you do when your singletons are one of the black cards, and how you how your partner knows that that's what you've got. Is there any way that could be covered in a lesson, please? Okay. I mean, there are different schools of thought um, about what what to bid. Uh, but yes, thank, I'll, I'll make a note of that. Um, and I think there was some, one of the questions we sent out to the members of the uh, club was involved one of those hands about. So um, I will try and cover that. What I, what I teach is what the EBU recommends, um, uh, but there are, there are different ideas about it. Any other comments or questions? I'm going to end the um, call in a minute, um, but if you need a partner and don't have one yet, could you uh, speak up now and uh, see if anyone 